Hey guys, welcome to Markdown Tutorial. So today we are going to talk about this wonderful, uh, easy to learn and uh, easy uh, to uh, master language that is going to help you uh, to uh, turn your uh, text into some uh, really uh, nice and really professional look. Uh, so uh, Markdown, it's uh, widely used. There are many Markdown uh, applications out there uh, and even if you write some uh, text into Markdown and you want to transform that text into PDF, DOCX, uh, ODT or uh, EPUB, uh, that is uh, really easy to do. There is uh, one uh, really uh, useful application for that purpose, but that is subjects for some other episode. Today we are going to talk about Markdown uh, syntax. So first we are going to learn Markdown and later on we are going to uh, learn how to uh, transform or markdown into some other format. Uh, so in order to uh, write markdown, you could use many applications. But what turns to be the best solution, at least by my opinion, it's uh, VS Code. And if you want to use VS Code for this purpose, uh, only thing that you have to do uh, is to uh, use uh, one uh, additional uh, element for uh, this application and that is a uh, markdown preview github uh, styling okay uh, install uh, this uh, extension and now go back to your folder and create uh, one uh, document with markdown extension so that's all for beginning and uh, now uh, with that extension activated you have this option click on it and now everything that you uh, write uh, into this uh, left window, you are going to uh, get uh, processed by Markdown and preview in this right one. So first thing that I'm going to show you is how to create title. So that's uh, extremely easy like everything else in uh, Markdown. Only thing that you have to do use this pound sign uh, space. So what is mandatory? Uh, space after pound sign and now your title my biggest title if you want a little bit smaller use two pound signs my big title now with three pound signs my medium title with four pound signs and with five and now we are going to use only this big one and it's going to be my title now, if you want to uh, write some uh, paragraph uh, to uh, your uh, document, as you see, uh, we have everything in uh, one paragraph. In order to split this into three different paragraphs, you have to put uh, one empty line in between, like this. And now we have three paragraphs. You also could create a block of text in between paragraphs in this way. Uh, make uh, one uh, line uh, empty in front, one line uh, empty uh, after, and here uh, make four spaces or uh, one tab. And now put some text in it. You see, we have uh, this text block in between our paragraphs, created in this way. Now, let me show you how to make bold text. Let's say that we are going to uh, make uh, this piece of text bold. Only thing that you have to do is to put two stars in front and two stars after text you want to reform. And if you want only uh, italic to be, you could do with one star. And if you want to turn your text uh, into both uh, bold and italic, you are going to use three stars. 
three stars in front and three stars uh, after. Then I'm going to talk to you about block nodes. Block nodes are going to be created uh, with uh, this angle bracket. This is our first block. And now, and even in here implies rule that we uh, need uh, empty line in between. If you want to separate two pieces of text with horizontal line, uh, you are going to type three minuses and you see we have horizontal line. And I would like to have another one. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to show you how to put some uh, links uh, into your text. So uh, what you have to do with these angle brackets, you are going to uh, provide uh, some uh, text uh, uh, that you want to be in title of your link. Let's say my YouTube channel link. And in order to provide an actual link, you have to use these uh, simple brackets. And now I am going to find my link with this URL. I'm going to copy it in here. And now we have operational link. And what if we would like to put some uh, image in uh, our document? How I'm going to do that? In similar way as we did with uh, link, so in here we need uh, this exclamation mark, we need angle brackets once again, and uh, title, my image, and these simple brackets, and now we are going to provide an uh, address uh, to uh, my image. So my address is in controller, and we have image of controller in here. Let's say that you have some uh, character that needs to be escaped. Let's say that uh, in uh, your uh, image title you would like to provide uh, uh, some uh, character like uh, open brackets uh, or uh, this exclamation mark. How to do that? It's actually quite easy. And in order to escape this character, I'm going to uh, type this slash. And now we have uh, this title, you see. We have opening brackets at the end uh, of uh, our image. Okay. And now let's say that uh, we would like to put some code uh, in our uh, text. Let's say that we are writing some uh, documentation about software uh, we have created. How to do so? There are actually a few ways uh, to do that. Uh, first one, uh, it's uh, with uh, this symbol. And this is symbol that you are going to find uh, left from number one on your keyboard. And here we could uh, write some code like this and if we need uh, multiple lines of code we could do uh, with three symbols yeah looks nice and now uh, what about lists there are two kinds of lists, uh, unordered lists and ordered lists. In order to create an uh, ordered list, you are going to put number in front of elements. First option, and now uh, we need uh, empty line in between, like this. And we have our three options. And we could create sub options. Uh, one uh, line in front and one line after. And now we are going to put sub option, but we need in this line first uh, four places empty or one tab. So I'm going to use first sub option and second sub option. You see? 
uh, we have our sub options and how to create an unordered list. Uh, instead of using numbers, we are going to use these minus signs. Let's see. Ah, yes. We need a uh, empty space after minuses. Okay. You see, we have our unordered list. And how we are going to create sub elements in the same way like with ordered list. Let's see. Yeah, everything looks quite well. And now I'm going to show you how to create uh, tables. And in order to make things uh, simple, I am going to delete all of this. And now let's create a table. Well, table creation uh, is uh, actually quite straightforward. Let me explain. You need uh, this uh, vertical line in order to uh, represent separation between columns. And now I'm going to type first column, then another vertical line, second column, and third one. And the next line, I am going to uh, use these uh, vertical uh, lines and minuses in order to draw our table, like this. And you see on the right side, uh, we have uh, our uh, first row. And in third line, I'm going to continue with this very same technique let's say number one empty spaces going and here i'm going to put two and let's do one more line let's say 36 79 and zero uh, and uh, now let me uh, show you something uh, really interesting well i already showed you how to uh, use uh, bold uh, and italic uh, but what if you would like to uh, have uh, uh, that uh, strike true line uh, true text how to do that in order to achieve that you are going to use this uh, tilde sign two times in front and after and we have our result there are actually a few more things that you could do with markdown what uh, with visual studio i cannot show you because it does not support uh, those uh, options you could do something like uh, task list or a footnote or uh, definitions but even without those options, uh, this uh, VS Code is going to serve you very well. So this is all about Markdown uh, syntax. Uh, in next episode, we are going to uh, deal with conversion uh, of uh, uh, Markdown uh, documents into some other formats. So that's all for now, guys. See ya.